It's thrip season. Do you even know thrip season? Get your brooms out. Get your freaking bow knight out. Get your Captain Jacks out. We're going to war. I am double wielding Captain Jacks. It's like spring. It's like spring. It's like summer. It's like a fun, weird, who knows what time it is. It's thrip season. You know what that means? It means it's time for all the losers to crawl out of their dens and eat your plants. And that's not cool. It's not fun. We don't like that. I found thrips on my Sport Monstera again. This is the third time I found them. And they'll go away for months and months and months at a time and then like come back. I guess let's take care of it. And we're gonna take care of the other plants in that little section too. But I just thought we could hang out while I like kill some, some losers. I have a sick sense for this. Walking by my Monstera earlier and I was like, I could like smell them, okay? Like I just knew they were there. It was so bizarre, it was like, I just knew, dude. So, we gotta now take care of the lad without spreading it to our other friends. In the past, I've done this by just putting him on the floor, but uh, I think we're gonna put him up here. And I've had thrips before, so there is old thrip damage on this guy. So we're gonna find the new thrip damage and the new thrips and I'm gonna show them to you. Sound good? I think it sounds good. Let's do it. First things first, we don't need this broom. We need an extra light uh, to see where exactly the lad is infected. Uh, looks like it got in between petiole coverings. So we'll take a look there and I'll show you guys where they are and exactly how to identify them. It looks like we also might have some mealy bug or dust. It's actually probably just dust. Dust from a dusty wall. The mealies, not mealies, the thrips that I found were extremely tiny. Extremely tiny means that they're gonna be hard to see. So you really are gonna need some kind of light uh, cause they're gonna be in the larva stage, which means they can't fly. There was no damage. There was nothing like visible that made me think rip. I just like had a feeling. Um, so someone asked me the other day, they were like, hey, like my Monstera like wings are falling off. I was like, that's just normal. Um, so I know it's affected the actual sport. We're gonna, trying to look right now is like other places. And we're gonna clean all the leaves off just in case, but I think it started out low. I don't see adults yet. See, this leaf looks bad, but I think that this is old damage. I had this, I had this other really big Monstera. I know you guys probably don't watch my videos in order, so maybe you just saw it. It was this massive, massive Monstera. It was my first Monstera ever. It was covered in thrips, like infested levels, like, oh my God, terrible. And it just, it just had to go, so. I literally just threw it away. The leaves are also pretty dusty, so I'm also gonna dust off the leaves. So when you're looking for thrips at this stage, they're gonna be super easy to miss. So you're gonna need to look so, so, so carefully. Also really seem to be partial to Monstera. I have only really gotten them on Monstera. Even if there's other plants nearby, they don't really seem to bother them. So I'm like, we're catching this so early, you guys, which is great. Also, um, I know I haven't been posting a lot. I do typically daily post. I've just been like struggling lately, you know what I mean? Just like mentally, not with anything in particular. I've just been sad town for no reason, so. Okay, so this is where I'm starting to see the damage the most. Yeah, it's like that you can't see them yet, and I'll show you in a second, but it's like, these top three leaves over here are kind of our problem. Yeah, I discovered this before my nap earlier. Little teeny tiny baby thrips, so. Here's my beautiful Monstera. She's literally beautiful. She's gorgeous. That there, Monstera, see how big it is? It's literally huge. See how, how big it gets? You can kind of see the discoloration of the leaf. Normally the back of a leaf should just look green. Like this is just green. The back of this leaf, I mean, even from here, you can tell there's these 
browner spots, especially like over here, like super duper brown spot in the corner right there. They really like lip curls of leaves. I mean, you guys can see that, I hope. Um, the different discoloration. And I don't know if you'll be able to see how tiny they are. Okay, here's one. That teeny tiny white fleck right there. Uh, that's a thrip. <laughs> Super tiny, like I'm not even kidding. We caught this at like the earliest stage. And then also here's some other evidence of thrips. This brown discoloration right here. And then also right there. Um, and then if you look on the back, you can see that there's more. I literally got him from an Albertsons for 30 bucks and he's variegated. Amazing. This leaf is so yellowing. Oh, it makes me sad. It's not technically a variegated leaf. It's got a little spot, but that's from a different stem. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our Captain Jack's, not sponsored. This is just what I use. I actually have hardly left in either of these, so I'm gonna unscrew them and combine them. And then I'm going to go through the leaves, spray them down, and then wipe them off with some toilet paper. I'm also gonna open a window. I think this will give us enough to work with now. Please sponsor me, Captain Jacks. I love you. I'm actually gonna be turning on my light now. It's just getting a little dark. So how have you guys been? I hope everything in your life is going amazing. Wow, it was so dusty. Oh, I'll drop that. Now we start the long process <laughs> that is gonna be cleaning every single one of these leaves. <laughs> I'll check in with you in a little bit. Okay, so I finished cleaning her off. I cleaned and dusted every single leaf. So now all you'll see on the back of the leaves, well, that one's actually fine, but on the back of these leaves is just the damage, but no actual thrips. Damage does not heal, so it'll be there forever. Try to remember what plants you have damage on. This one doesn't have any. Um, so that way you don't scare yourself. If you have another outbreak in the future, but that's what it looks like. Cleaned every single leaf. I even dusted these big ones. They really needed it. Oh, they're so pretty. Now we need to check this other plant we have over here, a very similar to a Monstera. So I'm a little concerned. You know, I don't see any damage. Definitely it's overwatered. <laughs> Definitely overwatered it, but the thrip are so partial, like, very specifically like two monstera, so I'm not surprised it didn't hop on over. Ficus does have some thrips, so I actually can't do anything about that today because I'm like out of, I'm like out of bonide. So maybe I can try to get some off. We'll do an initial cleaning. All right, let's just do our best. And then tomorrow I'll go get some stuff. Won't even spray. Sad. Sad, sad. Gloria, listen, I will not forsake you. We caught it early, you guys, so it's all that matters. I am gonna actually leave this Monstera in the middle of the room. I don't want him to re-get thrips. So he's just gonna, he's gonna hang out in the middle of the room until I can make sure that ficus is clean. I can't exactly move the ficus anywhere, now can I? <sighs> but that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys like this sweater. I always feel insecure in this sweater from the front, but from the side, it's so flattering. You know what I mean? But from the front, it's like, so slouchy. Thanks for the love on the low bun. I, I wore a low bun in a video the other day just because I was lazy. 
I wasn't even thinking about my hair. And you guys were like, oh my god, you look so good in a low bun. So thanks guys. I'm gonna go through and check my other plants to make sure they don't have thrips, but I already did a quick sweep earlier. I didn't see anything. They're so easy to miss because in their larva stage, they're so small. They're not like scale where you'll see a bump and then you'll pick off the top one and then all the little ones will escape underneath. Mealies, they'll be like white powdery stuff, right? But thrip, you really have to actually be inspecting your plant. And that's why like, oh boy, I walked by my Monstera earlier and I felt, I just felt the winds change. <laughs> I'm glad I checked, glad I got it under control fast. I will take care of that ficus as soon as I can go. Get some more Captain Jacks. By the way, you can get Captain Jacks at like any, any plant store, like any place where they sell like soil, you can get Captain Jacks, I'm pretty sure. So yeah, thanks for watching this little video. I'm uh, sorry we haven't been doing a lot lately on the channel. It's kind of been chill. Honestly, just been playing a lot of video games and trying to decompress. Been running a lot. By the way, I like these running shorts a lot. These are like the Lululemon ones. Um, I don't know what type they're called, but they're really cute. Love them. Anyways, yeah, I've just been kind of like but you know what I mean? But like, there's no reason. Like, don't we? Don't be worried. Everything's fine. I think everyone just occasionally has those like lulls. I'm just having one of those lulls. So thank you so much for watching this video. Please make sure you hit like, subscribe, and tweet me at Plant Me Ashley. Follow me on Instagram at Plant Me Ashley. Become a member, and I'll see you guys in the next houseplant section. I can't just. It's so slouchy. Maybe I should have gotten it in a size down. There's Raven. Hello. All right, bye. Ducky says bye too. Thank you so much for the extra channel support to the planted cauliflower, all the green places, and botanicas.